All right, we're going to do an update on BTC. I've talked a lot on um, Twitter about my thoughts on this price action, and we've kind of been going step by step, uh, taking a look at it here. What I drew out last Monday uh, was this here. And my thought process was, the you know, for me, these were kind of like all of our key levels. Early in the week, um, I was looking at some long positions here. I had one play out. I had a short play out on lower time frames. And then my third long that I took in the zone got stopped out on this move down here. And you can see I, I was expecting this move down. I, I wanted to get a move down into the zone and, and look for a long position, but I wanted it after we took out the high here. So that didn't happen. Uh, instead, we got the move down first, but then we did eventually get the move up into this zone like I was originally looking for, right? And so when we were looking at this price action, and again, as, as I was updating you guys uh, throughout the week here, if we go ahead and take this over and draw it. This is the level that I drew out, you can see, right? And what I wanted to see was this zone hold as resistance with a sweep into the weekly and range value area high. This happened first here, um, following Trump's speech at the Bitcoin convention. This is a really nice setup in that we had this bullish event or a controversial event that could lead to a pump that people are longing into. And you often see these associated with tops, right? Because it gets people to long out of fear of, of missing out that can then trap these traders and use them as exit liquidity in this case for then a move to the downside. Now, I filled some of my short in here. I got front ran by like about a hundred bucks here. I never got rid of that limit order and it got filled here, right? And this wound up working, I mean, perfectly. This is a really, really nice uh, position here. This was the weekly that I had been watching and you can see on a 12 hour time frame, it's holding as resistance. If we go down to a one hour, you know, you can see price sort of got up into the zone and then got the move down. So I've updated my average entry now, which is a 69,134 on this chart so you guys can see that. Now, if we go ahead and get rid of this, look how, look how perfectly respected this was the rejection at the bottom of our resistance zone. This is a rejection at the top of our resistance zone. Nice sort of deviation play over the weekly at the range value area low for then a move down. And again, you know, the 12 hour time frame, we're looking at this and it is holding this weekly as resistance, right? So this is no longer, uh, an untapped weekly. This is a fresh weekly or a, a, a tapped weekly now. And again, what I'm looking for at this point, I think it would be very appropriate is a move down to sweep these lows that would take us into this zone here where there's a nice fair value gap as well as the range value area low. And it's also the 0.5 fib of this move up doing something like this coming down into here and then having continuation to the upside towards range highs and the previous all time high to then take out all of these highs here that have gone untouched for a long, long, long time. So, you know, it, is it possible that price does not get that deeper pullback? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely it is. And, you know, we can look at some of that stuff here. Like if we go ahead and, you know, look at this lower time frame channel here, you know, you could say, well, we can trade this channel until it breaks or, you know, we are getting some kind of a local swing failure pattern here. So maybe that's the move up that we'd be looking for. Um, but for me, I'm simply not interested. Uh, I would have to get a little bit more convincing for me to want to long earlier than something like taking out these lows. And the reason being is, is because I'm trying to look at this move in terms of a higher time frame analysis where, you know, let's just say this is something of an A, B, C, 
And what's really nice about this is that this is more of a sideways consolidation that's characterized by profit taking. Right, so if the if this were um, a, a massive sell-off, price would dump significantly stronger and faster than this. Instead, I believe what we see here is profit taking, and some degree of perhaps reaccumulation before then a move to the upside to make new all-time highs. And so, if that is this case here, you know, then perhaps we're starting a new impulse wave that eventually breaks us out of this consolidation period that would look something like maybe one, two, you know, three, and then four or five, whatever that's going to end up looking like for then that move up. And, you know, we can do some analysis to determine where some of those higher targets are that we're going to be watching for on BTC. But for me, you know, typically if this is, let's say, the beginning of a new impulse wave and we are going to then expect continuation in the not so distant future, what I would look at is for a very quick and swift move down into this zone where then it spends very little time for then a quick buy out, buy, uh, a buyback for continuation to the upside and having that bullish continuation to the upside. Um, again, typically, you know, wave two are associated as quick sell-offs because this is a, let's say, you know, um, a sucker's rally. There's no way there's going to be continuation. We're going to go lower or, if, you know, things aren't going to work out or whatever else. You're going to have that quick move down. Plus, there's a lot of um, open interest build up into these highs here. That quick move down, that sell-out, the liquidation, the cascade uh, for then a very quick move then for continuation to the upside. So again, this is my this has been my plan since last Monday. These these are all levels that I've been watching for quite some time now, but especially since last Monday when I drew out sort of this idea here. I think that all of these key levels have come into play and it all looks good so far. And um the 61 to 62 zone is definitely the next area that I am going to be watching. And as an added bonus, if we go ahead and pull up our previous week, we can see now that the previous week is at about 63 and a half. It would be really great to see that move to the downside, deviate the previous week low, and uh, use that deviation, okay, as a signal that this trading plan is gonna work, right? So if we get this move down into our buy zone and we deviate, right, we go ahead and add some positioning here, look for the reclaim to compound that long position, and that will sort of give us a local setup that will help us confirm this price action and, and, and this sort of mid time frame, high time frame analysis that would suggest that, you know, we are going to be seeing all time highs in maybe the not so distant future. Right. And, it, and, and of course, it's something that I've talked about for a while where, you know, I, I was expecting us to range here. Right. And I'll, I'll go ahead and pull up this higher time frame chart. We'll talk very briefly about this and then move on. But this was a fractal that I shared back in February, right? When price was trading here, actually. Okay, so price was trading here and I shared this fractal and I said, I think it's time for us to focus on a range developing here with price going as low as 52, which we nearly got there. Okay. And what we're going to want to see for continuation is, you know, a clean break above here. But I, again, I, I do think that if we think of this in terms of waves like one, two, you know, three, four, this sort of sell off in, in what almost looks like, let's say, a bullish flag. You know, I do think that this is being set up for some degree of continuation. And if we look at that on lower time frames, it, it does make sense for us to be eyeing, in my opinion, you know, this zone here as a good mid time frame trade or possibly even a longer term trade or a higher move up. So right now, again, um, I am currently short. I've updated the chart to reflect my entry, 169, 134, or 69, 134. I'm gonna be targeting this mid 61 to 62 zone where I'll then close my short position and flip long.